when you're given a filter kit for a 35G excavator, John Deere, um, you're given a little filter like this. And I had no idea what it was. I looked on YouTube, Googled it, and finally, which I should have done in the first place, Googled the part number and discovered that it's a pilot control filter. And you change it every thousand hours. Um, we have about 800 on this machine, so uh, just the other day we changed all the hydraulic oil. Um, all the fluids got changed. Um, but we <laughs> couldn't find where this went, and so we didn't do it. So today I'm going to uh, uh, change it. And I think, according to the schematics, it is in here somewhere. So I'm going to take this panel off. Right. Let's see what we have here. Okay, yep, there it is, right down there. In there. I have to take that out. Shouldn't be too awfully bad. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to take this bottom plate off so I can get to it with the with the scratch or socket, so let's do that. That didn't work. Oop, hello. Yeah. It's the old one. It's out of here. I'll just put it over here for now. Clean up this little thing here. A little container with a um, housing, I guess, or something. I don't know what you call it. Here's the part number for that thing, if anybody cares. Here's the new filter. We'll compare it to the old filter. I would say they are the same. They have the, well, the part numbers are gone on the old one, but okay, that's good. It looks like a, a nice little filter. And then it comes with a new O-ring that goes here. We'll remove this one. I 
don't really have anything to remove an o-ring but <laughs> okay a zip tie improvising well, this one is definitely misshapen the old one the new one is round the old one is almost more square I think it's just flat from being in there for so long this excavator has almost a thousand hours on it so let me uh grease it up a little you know let me clean, let me clean these out real quick clean the groove out here make sure the inside's all good and spiffy looks pretty good and then <laughs> make sure I get the right one the new one not the old one we just put her on there you know that was easy very easy actually okay cool okay now let's uh put this into the excavator I'm just gonna wipe this out a little bit probably nice and clean but I'll just run the towel around in there just to see if there's any gunk that I need to get out. I doubt it. Doesn't look bad. Still doesn't hurt to make it pretty. Okay. Take the, the filter and it goes up in there somehow. Let's see. Oh there it went. It snaps in there apparently. That's in there good. Perfect, okay. And then now, put the housing back on it. And get her all screwed up in there. Okay, that's pretty good. And then, tighten it. Too tight, I guess. I don't know it was really tight though. It's far more than hand tight, I'll tell you. Oh, there it goes. It seats pretty hard. Okay, it's seated real hard, so it just stops and then you tighten a little bit and it's it's there. Okay. Let's start this thing up and see if it leaks. back together that's kind of cool all right I feel good about that learned a little something let's get her put back together clean this off as well while I'm here So there are these two bolts, you take those completely out and you loosen those two and it just slides out. I had everything taken out all the way, didn't need to do that, but 
now, <laughs> but I did. There we go, that's it. All put back together, the pilot valve filter, I guess you could say, is is changed. Not too bad, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Good. Thank God for schematics. I'd have never found that thing, probably. <laughs>